oh my god guys i feel great man i feel rejuvenated i feel alive so what's up what's happening captain ladies and germs man it's your host with the most paul cantu live with part two of my t-shirt collection video and the reason why i feel so good is because i actually slept in a day i normally don't do that but today i treated myself did i have a dream that my aunt was selling my artwork for a lot of money and not giving me any of it yes now is it my aunt that watches these videos i don't think so shout out my aunt doris but <laughs> regardless guys doris is a cool name boris is a horrible name but regardless guys um we're back. I just want to give a big shout out to everyone who watched my last t-shirt collection video, man. The homie, wait, let me let me read some of these comments. Give me one second. Let me pull it up. You guys know, don't have 5G yet because I'm not trying to die. Um, uh, let, let's, let's dip into the comment section. All right, man. So my boy Hector Alejandro Guerrero. Alejandro said, Paul, you need to get interviewed by Theo Vaughn. Y'all's verbal slang is top notch. Yo, I love Theo, man. I'm a huge fan. The Rat King, you dig what I'm saying? Um, that boy, Ethan Harshman. Oh, my God, be so harsh. Said, can't wait to have a collection like this one day. And then someone says, sneaker collection next. Okay, I will do a sneaker collection. Probably not immediately. Okay, hold on. This dude said, I'm salivating. This is a verbal, or no. A veritable gold mine of amazing pieces. I love to get my hands on these, style them, and do an editorial photo shoot. Paul, my wig is snatched, and I'm not mad about it. Uh, thank you for sharing this amazing collection. Well, you're welcome. Dreamers, have more fun. Yeah, yeah. And I'm a dreamer, and I'm not the only one. But yeah, dude, I appreciate everyone who did watch that video. Not a lot of my subscriber base did, but all you guys who did watch it are the real ones. And so, yeah, if you're watching this right now, please, man, just smash the like button. Let's get this up to 2K likes, and I will brave. Actually, we'll make it even lower. 1.5K likes, man, instantly, today. And I will brave the quarantine situation and go thrift because the thrifts are back open. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get into these shirts. All right, guys. So diving in, man. Splash Town USA. The first piece we have is that uh, 1920 prisoner swag. Guest Jeans USA. Long sleeve stripe. And now, as I was saying in the intro, someone wants a sneaker collection. Bro, I will deliver that, but just later down the line when there's more interest on these collections. Um, this next shirt, absolutely delicious, bro. Fries, hamburguesas. And then you have the tomato, the Heinz ketchup. Absolutely clutch. I just want a picture in this bad boy, but a nice condom. Mint. All right, so then this piece right here is my swag. It is, it is new school, but the colorway is absolutely extraordinary. I think it's like the Charlotte Motor Speedway. It is aquaberry with the orange, with the pink, and the red. So it's very hard to find something that doesn't have at least one of those colors in it. Now, this shirt is a mish print. You dig what I'm saying? Actually, it's a test print, but I love the Vermont, the cow texture and pattern in the letters. And then, uh, yeah, you have all these other little test screen prints on this shirt. It just looks really cool. It's unique. And that's what I like, man. And I like what I like. I like what I like. Now, this shirt says, start each day with a smile. <laughs> and luckily today, man, when the cock crowed, I woke up and felt very uh, jubilatious. So yeah, you have the uh, Garfield tee, pink in this weird kind of like turquoise color that I really do love. I actually have two pairs of blazers that match this mm, flawlessly. Now this shirt right here, shout out everyone going on hikes despite the fact that they may or may not have lung cancer. Bro, if you're braving the wilderness and smoking a hell of Marlboros, honestly, I respect it. So you have the Marlboro Adventure Team. Shout out whoever smoked enough packs of cigarettes to actually rock this shirt. Now, 1980s, bro. Claymation ad campaign. You got the California Raisins. Literally a raisin company made merch, crazy commercials, and hella toys and shit to sell their dried fruits. Now that is some effort that does not go unnoticed. So shout out the California Raisins. And then also shout out that boy Simba. You know what I'm saying? You got the Rafiki primate drawing of a lion right here. Full, literally just like <sighs> blowed on a tree and then made this art, bro. It's what you interpret it to be. Simba? It's what you interpret it to be. Now, every morning there's a heartache hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four post bed. I might have messed up those lyrics, but look at this. You got the Sugar Ray T. I think there's a halo hanging from the, yeah, whatever. But bro, look at this, 2001. Bro, Sugar Ray 
goes hard. Everyone, it's worth a listen. Tickle your eardrums with something special. Now, we got it. The Tommy Fahu for your mommy. I wanna shout out Lil Kinky Twist, man. He actually coined the phrase. So a lot of these catchphrases are cross collabs between me and Kinky, and this flag is just so huge, bro. If I was a pirate, that's what would be on my ship with like a mini skull and crossbone on the Tommy flag. Now, you got Lord's Jim. Praise God for the gangs, bro. It says, the sin of the world. That absolutely is nuts, man. This is from 1990. So yeah, this is a vintage one, and on the back it says, his pain, your gain. And then I love these like desert storm tees. Kind of anything that's historical, even though this isn't desert storm, it's desert shield. Oh, defen defensive. But yeah, it says I support US forces, Middle East 1990. Got the flag, tanks, you know, jets. And then on the back, it says insane Hussein. And this is what mwah, actually adds the cherry on top of the piece. My boy Saddam is riding a camel. All right, this um, with a pistol up to his head and then a tank is literally about to decapitate the living hell out of this dude and obliterate his entire brain. So, very nice detail on that. Now you guys know. Maybe you don't. So now you know. I love having airbrush tees. So you have this nice airbrush. I think that's like a Thunderbird. Um, I could be incorrect, but it could be a Firebird. It's a bird, bruh. But yeah, man, uh, you got this airbrush, a little muscle car tee. And then shout out Rebok. This is actually a bootleg shirt. So if you turn this inside out, there originally was something else on this shirt. And then someone just screen printed a giant Reebok basketball on it. So you gotta give them props for that effort to remake and reuse the shirt. Now, the most thought delicious animated piece of chocolate, hands down the green M&M. I love it, this is a great piece to poke out underneath a jacket or a flannel. And when peacocks fly, man, this is a Adidas all-timer shirt. It's newer, it's very soft, and this dude definitely got that beak on him, just like your boy. Big nose gang, we out here, and he's fly. Kinda something like me. Guys, I just flew through that rack like the peacock on that shirt. Moving on to the next rack, dude. Orlando Magic, all over print. Shout out my shorty, when we were in San Antonio sipping on some margaritas, she spilled that sh on this shirt, and guess what? I got the stain out. What do I use? Dawn dish soap. So yeah, it's double-sided, so of course it got me sprung. I'm excited, Taz is just dunking like this. I don't know, very odd uh, basketball technique, but this shirt goes too crazy. You know what, shout out the uh the magic in the 90s. They was dope. Now this says Operation Desert Storm. Of course, another little um military T. It says bomb Iraq day and night until Saddam sees the light. Man, prophetic, bro. Then on the back it says I support US troops. Boring. But the front is dope. So uh this next shirt from my homie, Vintage is Cool, David is Cool, shout out David. It has Tweety rocking a bandana, blood gang. We out here, man, King of York City shit, man. Ah! And then it has a bunch of um, sunflowers right here. Very, very cute, I love this shirt. I can't wait to rock it, and so when I saw him post it, I had to buy it. Um, and then it says, naturally Tweety. Aww. And again, wow, sticking with the shirts, rapping at me theme. You got the Get Smart, Make Art. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Look at that boy Einstein imagining just about anything. And that's why, guys, I'm concluding the collections because I wanna get back to making art videos, bro. That's what I love to do and I feel like it's worth my time, so stay tuned. Now we got some a Trill shit. Smile some, bitch. Got the Pimp CT right here, it says Trill. This thing is just embezzled with diamonds. VVS is dancing and flossing off the frame. Of course, need it. Diamonds dancing on my wrist like Taylor Swift. Diamonds dancing on my wrist like Taylor Swift. I think that's how the lyric goes. I might be wrong. Look at this. Gardening shit. Paul Plan 2, bro. Got every gardening tool that you need. Shout out hoes. I hope I don't get demonetized for saying hoes. I'm referring to the tool this time and not the bitches. All right, now I'm demonetized. All right, look at this. Bro. I heard it through the grapevine. Again, California raisins. Single stitch. And then moving on, another NASCAR fast car tee. I love this shirt. The NASCAR tees with all the different colors, such as this one and this one, it's just so easy to combine a variety of hats, shoes, pants, to create an ultimate fit, and also to switch it up. So that's why I love this shirt, because you can rock it with just about anything, because it is so vibrant and colorful. Again, brand new 
screen print, reprint, you dig? This thing is an all over print and it is sexy. It's James Brown if I am correct. Yup, that's what it says. I know how to read. Someone asked where I got these shirts from. Bro, check out my last fan unboxing video and I do shout out the homie who made these shirts. I'm sorry I can't remember it off the top of my head, but guys, when I do an unboxing, it's just very hard with everything that's rattling around up in this skull piece to remember everything. I hate a what? Breath. I hate a goofy, especially beach volleyball tee. Another one out of a fan unboxing, and I love it. Now I was actually pleasantly surprised that I got my hands on this gym right here. Look at this dude. Is, is that an Ibis? Bro, again, a beat gang in this thing. It's all about the what? It's all about the you. It's all about the you. Shout out Lil Kinky Twist. He actually was live in the store when I found this shirt and he did not want it. And I was just like, what, why? I need it because I know one day I'm gonna put this on your body and we're gonna take some pictures in it. Cause it's just so fire. So yeah, I respect the Oliver Print game and that's why I have a few of the tees. You got that boy Daffy again, dunking with a very right angle like bend in his appendages. It's just nuts, dude. Hands down, very artistic. I love the brush strokes on it, kind of graffiti-esque. Who it is by, man? It's by Ritz with a Z. That's a strip club in Houston. I wouldn't know, I don't go to strip clubs. I am a strip club. All right, <laughs> this next piece, again, my favorite type of antioxidant, an aqua berry colorway. Bro, and it's my favorite insect, the honet. You dig, double-sided. I got this from one of you guys. And I also bought this piece from another one of y'all, man. So shout out all my supporters. This is like the Wiley Repairs um, t-shirt right here. I can't wait to rock this. Got tags on the back whenever I do some home renovations. It is brand new with tags, so it makes it a little harder to wear a shirt that's brand new, because I'm like, oh, I don't want to decrisp it. But then again, if I put it on body, it's like a human air fryer, you dig? Like that shit becomes ultimately more crispy. Now this shirt right here, it says see you at the pole. Again, not talking about rates. The strip club is literally talking about voting bro and what's crazy this is like shirt inception so you have the tee right here and on the front you have a dude wearing the tee right and then on his tee you have him wearing the tee again wow fan unboxing flamer again super bowl dallas cowboys my favorite team beat the buffalo bills the buffalo bills just could not get a dub and it's kind of hilarious let's see if they can actually get one upcoming with the talent they got on their roster dude Mustache Inspiration Magnum PI. You got the Burt Reynolds tee. This is from 1982. Shout out Burt Reynolds, man. He actually kissed my ex-girlfriend's mom. Shout out my ex doll. In an elevator. <laughs> All right, this shirt, super dope. Um, the Phantom Menace, Star Wars Episode One, Liquid Blue. Look at little Darth Vader, bro. He's so cute. Um, but yeah, Darth Maul, man, hands down, bro. Fucking beast. I love the way he looked, even though he doesn't talk, which is pretty lame, but he's cool looking, and sometimes visuals is all that matters. Now, I got this for two bucks at Goodwill. To who dollars? To who? You dig? It's that president uh, and first lady, that Barack Hussein Obama tee. Super nice. And then we got some hometown heaters, man. Oilers t shirt, bro. Vintage. A little bit too big for your boy, but I don't mind wearing t-shirt dresses. Whoops, I just showed this off. Another one, jersey edition right here. I wore this when I weighed probably about 125 pounds wet. You know what I'm saying? This is a nice vintage shirt as well. And then look, another one, Houston Oilers with the hood. What? Bro, any Oilers stuff goes for a good amount of money and it's super rare. So whenever I come up on it, I keep it. Even if it's a little bit too big, if it's too small, as long as I can squeeze my body into it, guess what? I'm keeping it, bro. Um, oh, and then you guys know, duck head is the best head, bruh. Mm -hmm. And then duck tail is obviously the best tail. Shout out the University of Ducks, bro. Duck you. Oh, a whale of a tail, bro. You got Free Willy and company on uh, this shirt, bro. Again, I took a banging IG photo a few years back rocking this with a crazy fit and it looked nice. So yes, I love this shirt. I also found one and gave it to my sister so we can twin. Harley Davidson and this shirt is rare because of the color scheme, bro. Rarely do you see a like, I don't know, acid wash blue Harley tee and then on the back, bro, it says Rossiter's. I think, it <laughs> got a palm tree on it. And uh, yeah, it's from Florida. So shout out everyone who is literally fucking insane. Unless you're watching this, you're the one exception. Probably not though, y'all crazy down there, bro. Um, 
This shirt out of this world, bro. Full got that big ass head, right area 51 and all that nonsense. Bro, you got the Alien Invaders tee. Holy hell, big in 99. I guess like Warren Sapp um, went out of this realm, out of the universe, and was inflicting some pain and some sex huh, on another planet. All right, this shirt is dope. I showed off one of these that was gray. You got the Nike box logo, super big vertical rectangle on the back. This is a white tag made in USA, Nike T. And then shout out to homie Jason again in Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama. Look at this. You got the uh, Dream Team 1992 Barcelona Olympics. Everyone and their mom was on the squad. This shirt is super rare. It's crazy because this is embroidered, but literally nothing else is. Just USA 1992 embroidered in all gold. And you guys know we love gold. Now, accurate to my life, porn star facts. Bro, <laughs> it's very hard to find an appropriate occasion to wear this. Oh wait, psych, it's not, cause it's every day, bro. Yeah, you guys know I'll be shooting a little bit of these special films. Hack my iCloud, bro. You'll get everything you need to see in there. I'm just waiting for it, bro. I'm gonna make my big move into the industry. Stay tuned. Okay, hometown heater, right? Now, look, the fans didn't cheat. That's all I'm gonna say. The fans went to the parade and celebrated. I had nothing to do with it, so I'm still gonna rep for my city, bro. Houston Astros, Venice Chief. This is from 1998, when they weren't like stealing sign language and then also wearing buzzers on their nipples. Buzzards? Buzzers on their nipples to, you know, uh, predict pitches. <laughs> now this shirt is actually Kinkies. Um, I just washed it and so it's still in my possession because since the quarantine I haven't seen my mans, it's the Janis Joplin tee. Nice. Nice. Alright guys, next shirt. Oh yes. Some Olympic fire. I've had this in the collection for a very, very long time. I just love the colors and the giant rings on it. 1996 Olympics, bruh. And then again, you know what I'm saying? This is actually new school, but it just fits so good. And it's Nike. Sometimes I will rock a new garment because the texture, bro, that's all that matters. The texture and how it looks on your body. Um, oh my God. Now this shirt is something special, guys. This shirt is the shirt I wore when I first met my boo. So I rolled into Kinky's job with him. We were getting some food for half off because he works there. You guys know, we really don't be cutting corners when it comes to saving money. And I just look in the restaurant and I'm like, bro, you ain't tell me fine chicks worked here. And then just like an angel, bro, I see my woman before my very eyes or my future woman. And I look at Kinky and I go, bro, I'm a holler at her. <laughs> and so I did, I spit a bunch of game, some bullshit, went on a date the next day and a year and a month later, bro, you know what I'm saying? We got a dog together. <laughs> but yeah, man, so shout out this shirt. It really helped me get my uh, pimp game elevated. And remember this, guys, you can't have pimp without pimple. So just know I was kind of breaking out, bro. Not actually. Anyways, next striped shirt, bro. I hate a what? I hate a goofy especially. My boy is jigging. This is another piece from a fan. I love it, bro. It's like a guest shirt with goofy. Ultimate collab. Now another one, striped guest. This actually is newer. It's not vintage, but it is sick. And the colorway is very rare and unique. It reminds me of some 90s wallpaper, which I definitely um, would love to rock the shirt and then just do this and then have a, a, a freaking invisible torso. So, cool. All right. Last rack, guys. You got the goofy breakdancing tee. Wow, all embroidered. Very rare to have an all embroidered t-shirt. And then you guys know we're saucing like a Miami damn dolphin all over print. I've had this for years and I love the shirts. It's a Magic Johnson tee. So yes, this shirt um, can help you in your fight against AIDS. Thank God, when I was having a flare up, I was rocking it. Uh, <laughs> this shirt I got from the homie Jacob Williams Star. Um, it's the Astro World T. Shout out the Thane Park and shout out Travis Scott. Bro, this is like drug induced, bro. Um, drug induced tie dyeing. This is on a gilded though. Quality is ass. All right, sorry guys. I had to switch the camera angle one last time. Actually, yeah, because the battery was dying. But where were we? This next piece is a Tasmanian Devil. Why pay a professional? Bro, this is my life philosophy. Uh, I'm Mr. Do-it-yourself in all aspects, whether it's yard work, 
repairing stuff around the house. I don't know nothing about a car though, but I pretend to if I see someone broken down the side of the road. I'm like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's the car operator. Um, okay, this next piece is Elton John, the one. I love this shirt, got a small little blunt hole on it. It's a uh, Gianni Versace designed. And it's just so sick, bro. It says the one on the back, and I love the color scheme. Now this new school Umbro shirt is the New York Cosmos. That's the shirt, the shirt. That's the team that Pele played for when he was a balling out playing soccer in the US of A. So I need it. Again, guys, another color variety. Duck head is the best head. That is just universal fact. <laughs> now I got this shirt at the DFW Vintage Swap Meet in Dallas, Texas. It is a Pocahontas a tee. You know what I'm saying? With Miko on the back, I'm gonna name my child after this raccoon and that is as factual as it gets. Another one for the pink Minnie Mouse. I love this shirt because it's double cupped on the sleeve. It's like pink with a gray tee sewn in underneath. And then one time when I hit up the Toyota Center, you got the Houston Rockets, uh, Western Conference Champions, 1994 NBA Finals tee. So clutch, everyone needs it, and then everyone needs an animated thought in their life that isn't an Eminem, but is actually resembling a human. You got Betty Boop, as bad as I wanna be, bro. Um, so yeah, thought delicious. She got that head on her too, man. Something like your boy. Uh, man. <laughs> All right, this next shirt is not a good competition. Cheeto Puff Orange. And then we have this like 70s World War I inspired JC Penny, the RAF Royal Air Force T biplanes. So this thing is super old. I love it. Um, I've tried selling it, no one's bought it, so I just have it in the personal because it's such a rare piece. Also, man, shout out Spuds McGee, bruh. You got the Mr. Potato Head 1998 T. I've never seen anyone else have this shirt, bro. So, yeah, there's no way I'm letting this go. When I do love Toy Story, and I did play with Mr. Potato Head as a youth, times were different, man. Video games were kind of lit, but not all the way yet. All right, this next shirt, oh my God. Banger, bro. Rastafarian colorway. Lithuania, bruh. 1996 Olympics. This is like a Grateful Dead inspired design. My man's is just dunking. I think they got second place or bronze in the Olympics just out of nowhere, bro. They were beasting on, of course, the liquid blue frame. And then we have four more all over prints. Phoenix Suns. Wow, this is looking like the dude off the Fantastic Four with his skin texture and the letters. Super nice right there. You have this uh, trippy stuff in case I become a, a drug shaman. You know what I mean? Where I do a bunch of drugs and all of a sudden I think I'm a shaman. Night and day, day and night cutter. Um, and then you have this Peace tie-dye tee. This was sent to my P.O. box. And then you have two Mickey Mouse sleep gowns right here. One that's pink, blue, and yellow. Pick on my IG rocking this. And then one that is the primary colors, except green. And these are elongated because they're for sleeping and covering up your genitalia. However, bro, um, these are like elongated streetwear tees in the way they fit. And you can kind of tuck them in and pull off a normal t-shirt size with these long dong guys. And as a bonus, they're super, super soft. Now, one well, last and not least, shout out my website, thriftheavenvintage.com. I was coined the thrift god by my best friend, Lil Kinky Twist. So we're gonna conclude it with the God's Athletic Club. Uh, yeah, man, I definitely have a membership, motherfucker. Anyways, guys, I love you. That concludes the collection videos for now. Live the dream, eat that ice cream. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, baby, I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Smash a like button, drop a comment, and I'll see y'all soon. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.